Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's episode, we're going to be modeling this knob. Let's hop right to it. All right. Let's go ahead and start out by creating a new component, as always. I'm going to label this knob. All right. Let's go ahead and start out by creating a sketch. I'm going to put this on the front plane. Okay. Create a line. I'm going to draw the profile as such. Let's go ahead and add some dimensions. Let's go ahead and make two center diameter circles. Let's put one on the end here, and one on the inside. Let's go ahead and add some dimensions. This circle, I'm gonna go ahead and make this about two millimeters. One millimeter. Drag this up so it's visible. Okay. Let's go ahead and create another line make it intersect this line but don't we don't want it in the center so we'll just put it on the lower edge here till you see the x draw it over and bring it down oh we don't want it to intersect so let's go ahead and back up a second let's drag this over and complete that line and bring it down there we go let's add some dimensions to that line from this point to this point be about four millimeters, 4.6 millimeters to be exact. We'll make this about 2.8. Okay. And then let's go ahead and dimension this point in the center of the circle to this point to this point. And let's go ahead and make this five millimeters. And that'll be that. Let's drag this down just a little bit. Bring this over so you can see the dimensions. All right. Let's go ahead and finish the sketch. All right. I'm going to use the revolve command. Select this inside profile. And before we do that, what we could have done, we could have trimmed all of the excess. However, if you do that, it will basically make the sketch uh, no longer a defined sketch. I mean, you can do that. It's excessive. However, I just choose to keep it. All right. So let's select the axis. I'm going to select this edge here. And just click OK. All right. Control six to bring back the lines. All right. So what we're going to do now is add a chamfer to this edge and make it one millimeter. Let's go ahead and create a sketch on the front plane again. Zoom in a bit. Okay. All right. Let's create that sketch right here on the front plane. Create a line like so. We actually want the line to intersect, so let's go ahead and make them connect. There we go. All right. Let's go ahead and start adding some dimensions. From this point to this point here, we want it to be nine millimeters. We want this line here. We're going to hit the constraints tab. And so what we want to do is we want to make that line collinear, this line here collinear with this line here. And before we do that, let's go ahead and use the project command, the P key, so we can select this outline and we can have some geometry to work with. Okay. 
Now let's go ahead and set constraints. Collinear. Select this line and this line. And now it's on the same plane. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and make this angle from this line to this line to be about 18 millimeters. I'm sorry, 18 degrees. My apologies. All right. And let's make the length of this line 5.35 millimeters. And now the sketch is fully defined. All right. Okay, let's use the revolve command. Select the profiles we just created. Make sure you select the inside as well. The axis is gonna be this edge here. All right, operation is gonna be set to cut. Click okay. And this is what you have. You have a groove on the end, all right? Now we're gonna use the circular pattern command. Wanna select features. Wanna select the revolve we just created. The axis, I'm just gonna select this uh, face right there. Okay. Quantity is going to be set to 12. Computer options optimized. Click OK. All right. Let's go ahead and add some fillets. All right. Let's go ahead and just select the entire object. And let's make, let's make it point 0.2. Point 0.2 selected. Radius type constant, click OK. All right. Now we got this hole in here. This is optional, but I'm going to do it myself. Let's go ahead and add some thread. So create thread, select the inside, make it modeled. It's going to be full length. And these are going to be parameters for the threads. Click OK. And last but not least, let's give it a color. Okay, hit A for appearance, and let's type in plastic. I want this to be a plastic knob. So we're going to use, let's see here, glossy black. And let's go ahead and just see what we can come up with. There you go. Well, I hope you liked this quick and dirty tutorial. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as well as the notification icon so you'll be notified when I put out new videos on a weekly basis. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.